Yes. So they're all on pins and needles. Am I going to be moved? Who's going to be moved? Megan Kylie says her second grader was going to be in a class with two teachers. Now she says the school is losing one teacher and six students from that class will be moved to other classes. The school district says it made the adjustments based on new enrollment numbers for that school. The decision to make allocations should have been decided before the school year begins. I know that districts across the country are able to do this and that is their norm. That should be the norm here. The district uses a demographer to project enrollment for each school. These numbers determine how many teachers each school has at the beginning of the year. But once school starts, the district does an exact count of students. And then once we have the final count, we match enrollment with what those staffing ratios are. Those are required ratios. Part of the state's goal to reduce class sizes is it sets a student to teacher ratio for first, second, and third grades. And then we also have um, within the district, we have have class counts um, for intermediate grades in elementary and then also at the middle and high schools. Now the school district says when it comes to reallocating teachers, they try to keep them at the same school, but sometimes that's just not a reality. So a fourth grade teacher may be moving up, you know, to second grade, first grade teacher may be moving to fourth grade. They just started settling down. Kristen McNeil says she got a phone call from her kindergartner South Reno school saying her son's teacher would be changing grades. Just started to, you know, to kind of be comfortable again with their in their new situation and their new friends and now they're being uprooted again. Since this is her son's first year in school, she fears he will have trouble trusting her and the school system. For the parents, it's more frustrating because we're the ones that are that are worrying about how they're reacting to it and worrying about what's best for their education. They'll get over it, but these are seven year olds. They cry. This is emotional for them. As a former principal, this is a difficult time within our school district, but it will get through it. And we're going to get through it. To